Hey YouTube, it's Mitch at iPhoneCaptain.com. Today we're going to be talking about iOS 8 and its unwanted features. So if you're like me, you enjoy the most for the most part everything that iOS 8, iOS 8 brings, but it does have a few things that can be annoying at times. So I'm going to show you how you can disable or remove some of these features if you so want. So if you want to grab your device right now and just sort of follow along what we do, I'll display everything I'm showing you right on the screen here where you will have no trouble at all seeing it. The first thing I'm going to talk to you about is the recent and favorites in the con and contacts in the app switcher. That can be very useful or it could be, you know, something you don't want everybody to see. And if you're like me and sometimes you share your device with someone, maybe they flip from one page to another by using the app switcher and they're going to quickly know who you have been talking to or maybe you're sitting beside someone in a crowd and there's two or three people close by and you're just sitting there using your phone. You don't really want your contacts to be displayed, you know, right out in front of everybody. That way they know who you've been talking to. Maybe you're talking to somebody you don't want everybody to know. And if that be the case, hit it once for me, guys. Anyway, getting back to the point. All you have to do to disable that feature is simply open up settings. You're just going to go to settings and scroll down to mail contacts can't in calendars tap that inside there you're going to scroll down to where it says show in app switcher under that little contacts header you're going to tap that and inside here if you so choose you can disable one or or the other or both i'm going to leave that totally up to you but if you were wanting to keep people from seeing your recent and your contacts, your favorite contacts, you would need to disable both of those toggles. So disable those two. And once those are disabled, we're going to now show you how you can turn off the predictive keyboard. Most of the time that is okay, but it does have some times that it gets on your nerves if you're like me. So if you're typing out an email and sometimes you just want to have the old default keyboard all you have to do is simply open up settings, go to general, go to keyboard, and inside keyboard is where you're going to have to do all of the work now. So like I said, you're going to go, you're going to go general, keyboard, and tap keyboards up at the top. And right here, you're going to have to turn off predictive. So, I'm sorry, you weren't supposed to hit that last keyboard. So, on the keyboards page here, you see where it says all keyboards, auto capitalization, auto correction, enable app cap locks, and then it says predictive. You're going to flip that toggle off. That will disable your toggle, your predictive keyboard. It's really that easy, guys. So the next one we're going to talk about is probably one I should have shared early on. But if you are, are not a big YouTube album lover, the group YouTube, you know, when, I, when Apple launched iOS 8, it, you know, they gave everybody a copy of the YouTube album. Well, not everybody liked it, and it sort of got a whole lot of publicity, you know because it sort of forced people to have this on their phone so and there was no way to get rid of it so apple has been so kind to give us a tool now that can remove this and give you that space back you don't have to use it for that youtube free album they gave you so what you'll have to do is you'll have to go to the link in the description below and just click on the link that says the uh I'll have it labeled something like uh, YouTube album removal tool. Click on that link beside that and it'll take you directly to Apple's page where you can put in all the information you need and, it, and then it will remove that for you and it's not very hard to do at all. 
Okay, the next one we're going to discuss is the quick reply. You know, most of the time that's, you know, okay to have quick reply, but there seems to be a little bit of a glitch. If you are a user that enjoys getting your uh, banners in the alert style, and let's say, for instance, you are reading one that just came in and in the alert style, and you start and you start replying back and you get three or four words typed into this email okay if you get another message while you're typing that message a lot of people are saying that it will del it will delete the one you're writing to let you read the one that just came in so in order to prevent that from happening the only the only fix they found so far is to not use the alert style, use the banners. That way you can simply tap on the banner and then go back out and reply. And, and when you get the new message, it doesn't override or come in over top of what you were doing to start with. I hope that makes a little bit of sense. So if you've experienced this firsthand, let us know in the comments section below because I did do a test of it today, and it does happen. If you're replying in, and you're in the alert style, replying in the alert style also, and you receive another message in the alert style, it will actually delete the one you were typing to give you the one that just came in. So I hope you follow that a little bit without me screwing it up too bad. The last thing I'm going to share with you is the Hey Siri. That's a very useful tool if you're alone. But what if you are at work and you have your phone plugged up? You know, most people that uh, carry their phone to work have a charger at work and one at home. If you're like most people and you just, when you get to work, you just automatically, it just comes firsthand now. You just automatically plug your device up set it on your desk and then you're good to go for the day. You don't have to even have to worry about the battery. Well, what if there's five, six, seven, eight, ten people next to you that think the same way and then they plug their device in and say, you know, say somebody gets up and leaves and goes to the bathroom. Well, the person sitting close by, if they wanted to, could get up and come over and just start talking to your device and it would pretty much tell them anything they wanted to know by using Hey Siri. So guys, it's something to think about and to disable it. It is very easy. It only takes a, just a second. All you have to do to disable Hey Siri is just open up settings. And in settings, you're going to go down to general. And in general, you're going to tap Siri. And right there in the middle of the page, you see where it says, Allow Hey Siri. You're going to flip that toggle off. Now, when you get home, simply just reverse what I just told you how to do, and it'll be right back on. So that would be something good, too, for Apple to put in the control center. Uh, some of these options that I've been showing, sharing with, you know, like the predictive keyboard would be a good one. Hey, Siri would be a good one. These are things that we need in the control center, and I'd like to see Apple put them down there. It would really help a great deal. So, guys, let me know if you have something you'd like to see put in the control center, or maybe I didn't talk about an annoyance that you have. Share it with us. Let us know how to fix it in the comments below. And as always, guys, don't forget, share this with everybody you know, and keep coming back.